Well, hello and welcome to another episode of Investigators in Cars Drinking Coffee. I'm your host, Mark Mernan, joined by as my That's co-host. A That's a tea bag by uh, Wendy Strong Mernan, mm -hmm. licensed private investigator, members of Complete Legal Investigations here in West Palm Beach, Florida. And uh, thanks for joining us again one more time. Yes. And before we go any further, we finally remembered our coasters. Yay. Yes. Got these spiffy little coasters right here, Investigators in Cars coasters. If you do not have one, then you're one of the few people who don't. Hit the subscribe button down at the bottom. Send us your contact information. We'll stick a couple of these in the mail to you as well. So, yeah, I finally remembered. All right. But, uh, uh, hey, it's August. It's August. It's hot and sweaty, particularly here Ooh. in South Florida. And rainy. And rainy. So we decided to do this before it rain started raining. Uh, but it's also the time for that time of year, which is? School is starting. School is starting back up. And I know that there have been a lot of um, a lot of email, a lot of uh, news on, uh, lately regarding uh, some uh, tragic incidents. Uh, school safety is always a timely issue, but also here during the preparatory uh, two weeks or so before classes start. So <clears throat> we're going to be talking about uh, back to school uh, safety. And yes. uh, when you've done a little bit of research on this, so you found a couple of, you found three things that really kind of attracted your attention. Yeah. So, uh, and we'll include a link to a couple of articles uh, down in the content comments below yes. for you to link to to get some better information. Yes. So what's, what, what's the first thing that parents need to be considering when you send your, send your kids to school? Well, I think the first thing before we start on all this yeah. is that schools are very safe today, they safer really than they ever have ever been. Have They're been. one of the most safest places. So. Um, your kids, if they have fears, let them talk about it. But, sure. you know, confirm to them. Let them know, look, this it is safe in your schools. They've taken so many precautions. The other thing that I got out of this article I read is you can't just count on the educators and the emergency responders and the police to take care of your child's safety. No. You have to, and then cross your fingers and hope nothing happens. Right. There are some positive things you can do to train your children to educate them if they are in any kind of situation. And it's not just violence, there's tornadoes, or I guess we have hurricanes down here, but whatever it could be, um, you know, educate them. Uh, yeah. It's just a fact of life today that we need to do that. So the first thing, of course, and, and we all know this, but your kids don't know it, is if you see something, say something. Whatever they see, if they're uncomfortable with it, they need to talk to somebody about it. And the other thing that they're afraid to talk, so beforehand, give them, introduce them to a few people or mention to them who they can talk to. If it's you as a parent, or if they're not comfortable with that, maybe a secretary at the school or a teacher they really like, but have a plan for them. Okay, if you see something, you're not gonna go and post it online, but you're gonna talk to somebody about it and that you don't feel silly about it, even if it is nothing, you did the right thing. The, uh, this idea of um, kids don't talk to adults, but they do talk to each other. Yes. How many yeah. cases have we involved, uh, had involving minors, where the minors were all in communication, friends uh, yeah. back and forth on Snapchat or one of the um, uh, social media circles are ta talking about this. They just never bring it to an adult. Right, right. And so I guess that's very important. You <clears throat> let them know. You need to let an adult know. I'm here. Make sure they know you're there for them. Listen to them. You know, you can even ask them at the end of the day, how was your day? Did everything go? Anything you want to tell me or anything, you know, you don't want to focus on it, but um, that's just so they know you're there for them. Step one, communication. Yes. The, another one is the social media. And according to this uh, article, more than 50% of school-based threats of violence were made, distributed, and shared via social media. So you need to talk to your kids about the appropriate use of social media. First of all, don't make jokes about anything, bombings, shootings. Acts any, of violence. Yes, acts of it's not hate. a joking yeah. matter, and they can get in a lot of serious trouble now for posting anything like that. If they see anything amongst their friends, I don't know how many of your kids are on Facebook, um, but if they see anything, Instagram, um, they need to tell somebody just like everything else. Don't think it's a joke, even if it is a joke. The, this child or this person that's posting it needs to be addressed about it, needs to be taken down. So, um, And also, don't be afraid to limit your kids' time on social media. That's a big, a big trend because parents have become more friends than parents. Yeah. And this is not an age when you can do that. There was probably a time when... Uh, 
Uh, you might have been able to be away being informed, but you're the adult. Yeah. You're the adult. You're in charge of your children yeah. and their safety. And uh, they have to be aware of themselves, and it's your job as a parent to be the parent. Right. And we've had many cases where the so it was started on social media. So, it migrated very um, quickly to acts of violence, acts did. of abuse as yes, well. Yes, yes. I mean, so um, that would be the number two thing. Number three, and I really enjoyed. I really enjoyed this one. I hadn't really thought about it. Teach your kids to be active, not passive. So if something's going on around them, no matter where they are, school, you know, at soccer practice, wherever it is, teach them some safety rules. What they can do to protect themselves. Um, number one, get away. You know, get away from the situation. Don't wait for an adult to tell you what to do. Be able to think on your feet. Um, they mentioned here the, the stranger danger or the stop, drop, and roll. Teach them some little self-defense things. Or uh, I even heard someone say you could give them a door stopper to put in their backpack. If someone's trying to get in their classroom, to tell them, put the door stopper in the darn door so he can't get in or whatever closet you're in. or you know. So there are little things that you can teach them. But they're not helpless. Teach them that they are not helpless. They can be, they can protect themselves. Well, that's great. That's communication. That's uh, social media awareness and being active and not passive, the three takeaways. So we'll work on those things. In the next, next episode that we do, I'm going to talk a little bit about situational awareness, how to train your children, uh, your young children, your adolescent children, your college age kids, uh, to be aware of the situation they're in and how to train them and orient them towards observing the, uh, the baseline activities around them so they can recognize when something is off and being able to take action based on that. That'll tackle that on another episode. But in the meantime, thanks for joining us again. Thanks, and uh, please uh, consider subscribing. Get one of these nifty coasters here. These are so awesome. We drink all our coffee while we're staring at our... Of course, we paid for them, so we got these. <laughs> but we'd love to send them out to you as well. If you subscribe to us, just send us your contact information. We'll see you the next time on Investigators in Cars Drinking Coffee. Yes, and enjoy the school year starting. I used that <laughs> was my right. favorite time of year, and was I shed really? a lot of tears <laughs> uh, taking them to the bus. So, I said, uh, I said a lot of tears it. of relief. <laughs> All right. All right. Take it easy, Thanks. folks. Bye-bye.